So we get emails from people asking about lessons or classes oh. um, and specifically asking whether you are accepting any students right now. So let's talk about that a little bit. Okay. Okay. Um, am I accepting any new students? Sure. I've always got room for a, a good student. Um, yeah. What is that? What does that mean? A good student. What, what was a good student? What's a good student. What is a good student? Well, a good student is one who is teachable. <laughs> All right. Um, you know the Zen story about the the teacup and the guy pouring tea into the teacup until it overflows. You know, you got to come with an empty cup, or I can't put anything into it. So, um, so there's that. You have to be teachable. Um, that means it's going to be someone who is, it's going to be someone who's looking for the truth of the thing, right? In other words, it's somebody who doesn't half-ass around. You know, if uh, it's somebody who, uh, if, if I'm going to build this thing, I'm going to build it right. If I'm going to plant a garden, I'm going to do it right. If I'm going to salsa dance, I'm going to do it right. If I'm going to handle a sword, I'm going to do it right. All right, that's the kind of person. The person who wants to know the truth of the thing. Not somebody who wants to pretend, you know, to, you know, not somebody who wants to, you know, learn two salsa moves and pretend he can dance, <laughs> you know. Uh, but someone who wants to know the truth of the thing. That's, that's fundamental. Um, so that's somebody who's a little bit of a romantic. And uh, equal parts, I think, romantic and lunatic. Because uh, I don't know if you've looked around lately, but the world ain't set up for that kind of thing. So uh, you know, don't tell anybody we're doing this. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm looking for in a student, I guess. So what about somebody who is coming to town, they're not really looking to be a full-time student, but they're going to be here for a while and they, they want to drop in. What about somebody like that? Uh, sure, you know, um, that's happened from time to time. Uh, <clears throat> usually it's a former student who's now out of town and they, they, they pop into Ithaca for a visit and they, they quick come out and have a lesson and, and you know, chat for... You know, for, for three days. For, yeah, fence for 20 minutes and talk for three hours, you know. Uh, that's no, always, but that's I, always fun. I don't know <clears throat> former students. I mean, somebody who has never been a student before, but they're in town and, and um, they have the idea that this is like a fencing club and they want to just stop by and, oh. and join in oh, for well, the night. Yeah. Well, I just have to explain that that's not what we do. Um, um, first, I'm not going to have somebody I don't know cross plays with my students. Because I don't know if this guy's a safe opponent or not. Maybe he's a, when he's fucking Olympic, leap in the air and throw the fucking blade at the guy, you know? I'm not gonna have one of my guys get hurt because this guy's a jerk. So that's number one. <laughs> he's not fencing with one of my guys. Uh, if he wants to fence with me, he, uh, he ought, he, if he wants to fence with me, he ought to just come take a lesson. That's what he ought to do. And I can give him a nice combat lesson. But if he wants to fence a contest with me, which some people apparently have a mind to do, um, he's going to pay me a lot for that. He's going he's to pay me a lot to do that. Uh, a lot is... 20 bucks more than whatever he's got. Okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. So, uh, yeah, but if somebody wants to drop in for a lesson just to see what it's like, to see what we do, yeah, I'll do that. 